good morning. It's 10 minutes to eight in the morning, Badlands. We go, we've got a beautiful, beautiful um, sunny day, or it will be at least. 780 kilometers of unsupported gravel racing. We start here for a neutralized rollout and then let the fun begin. Hey, it's go time, go time. <laughs> In Bithyn already early in the morning. What's <laughs> going Fletcher, on? Fletcher's keeping up the locals on the Sunday morning. Rookie mistake. <laughs> First time with a track. How you start the Bithyn? <laughs> there you go. So already 3k in. There's a lead group, and then then a massive gap behind these people. Starting quite fast. We're determined not to get too carried away. Just a little bit. Yeah, caffeine gel. How are we feeling, mate? So hour, far, so good. Hour and a half in. Hour and a half in, I'm still feeling strong, but I wonder how long that's gonna last. <laughs> Clear sky, so it's gonna get nice and hot. Oh, yeah. It's gonna grow up. Come away. Hola! <laughs> Want some chocolate milk? <laughs> what was the breakfast of choice this morning? So, a bit of yogurt. <laughs> yeah. With cereal. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have much, but. Yeah. We don't feel like eating a lot. So. It's too early to eat big, isn't it? I wanted to get used to this ride and yeah. I'm not going to eat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Start as you mean to go on. Yeah. With no food. So two hours in, first snack of the day. Managed to stop. Oh. Almost lost it. I well, managed to stuff some pastries down my top. And uh, two hours in, now felt like the perfect time to take on board some fuel. We're just in a little group of four. There's me, Virginia, Liam, of course, and also Leah Wilcott. So what a group to have. You're punching. Punching. Bruh. And I've been chasing back onto the Chasing back onto the pack, you know. Nice, you made it. Made it. Uh, yeah. right. So two and a half hours into this one. Just stopped for a quick re refill of the water. Two and a half hours? Yeah. Four Nine, hours, ten, yeah. eleven, with three and a half hours. Oh, I lost count. I thought it was two and a half. How are we feeling? Not bad, little S sandwich. Sensations are good. Some fountain over there. Steep. Anyway, that was steep, yeah. Beautiful though, isn't it? Good though. I mean, the view at the top makes it worthwhile. You know the top, mate. Okay, well. So we've got to this little town. We've done 100 kilometers now. I've just had a bit of a slow puncher. On a little descent, I hit a rock, and I think it did a little bit of a tear in my tubeless. We're hoping that the sealant is gonna seal it. If it doesn't, I've got a plug. That I hope will hopefully do that. But yeah, good progress. I think we're quite pleased with how we're getting on. Being able to keep a lid on it and very, very soon approaching some of the most beautiful scenery as we enter the edge of this desert. Doesn't feel too warm actually, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. There are now three plugs in what was a very small hole maybe not such a small hole gone ahead pumped it up and it's gone down about 
four or five times. So hopefully the third plug holds. If it doesn't, don't know, don't know really what we're gonna do now. 10K away from this next town and that will be 130K. And Hopefully the restaurant here, or cafe, whatever, sells some potatoes bravas. We can uh, get some fuel in along with some coke, maybe a 10 minute sit down before tackling that horrible steep gravel climb which comes straight after this. Annoyingly, on this year's edition, they've added about 100K loop which goes left up the top of the town all the way round and basically back round to here. cyclists who turned up at once all wanting more than anyone would normally buy but yeah currently sitting in fifth place in the pairs the first two pairs including Fletcher is at the front and they've got a really really decent average speed they're quite far ahead of us about 20k and then behind there's about 10 pairs just like us who are really really close within a couple of k it's a long night we're gonna see the order change a fair bit the landscapes we're gonna be good some incredible incredible countryside but look at that oh my goodness yep that bit was far too steep to ride I did try it's now about six o'clock which means the temperature has started to cool down luckily blown <laughs> <laughs> not feeling so good huh I felt better yeah oh had a little nosebleed as well, didn't you? Yeah, that happens when I get hot. Another steep one. Hey. <laughs> you can do it! Let's go! Nice little bit in the shade, mate. Gonna grab some food. Whilst we eat some food, look at that. So me and Liam last night ordered a big Thai meal. Some noodles, some rice. Hello. And of course I ordered far too much, so I thought instead of chucking it in the bin, put it in my, where I normally put my drone. I bet I'm the only person who started Badlands with a curry in their pouch. What you got there, mate? Sandwich. Yo. <laughs> For day one, it's five to nine. We've done 200k, which means we've got an average speed of about 16k an hour elapsed time, obviously, including stopping time. We're 8k away from the fountain, the next fountain. I've run out of water. That section was pretty tough. We're gonna whack the lights on and crack on into the darkness. Hopefully, keep chipping into those kilometers. I might make it, I might not. <laughs> Can't see much. We made it to the town of Gore. 
it's about two in the morning. We had the little cafe stayed open until two. Um, we had a we had some batatas bravas, and then we've tried to have a little half an hour nap. We can't sleep, so we're going to crack on. That last 60k that we just did was absolutely ridiculous. Genuinely one of the hardest 60k's I think I've ever done. Uh, we're riding past people now who are having a little nap. Oh fuck yeah. Oh no. Oh no. This thing has a life of it folks. So good morning. It's 7.30. Last night after the town where we had some dinner we started our ascent. And very quickly we realised we weren't going to get very far without some sleep. So we stopped on the descent, got our emergency blankets out and tried to get a couple of hours. It was actually an hour and a half I think we got back on the road again after waking up absolutely freezing cold. And now to tackle the rest of this ascent in this national park. Sunrise. Hey, yeah, Mi best time. <laughs> best time of the day. <laughs> 300k in the bank. Yeah, 300k yesterday. And well, if we do the same today, it's gonna be amazing. Did you sleep at all? Yeah, a few hours. Yeah, a few hours. I think you did better than we did. Day two. Uh, I've run out of things to say. My mind's not here. It's left. to a bend, no chance. for lunch at that town much deserved rest uh, as i said it was a long long gap between food stops so we stopped we had a bocadillo uh, a few ice creams and made the most of it a change of plan and i will explain to you exactly what we've decided in a minute but first another one mate just wire fencing in the way imagine that in the dark mate be brutal might have to imagine it <laughs> You still a few days to go. Oh yeah, that's true. Out of nowhere, getting clothes lined by a milk bottle. So this section, probably about 360 kilometers. It's quite hard. I would assume this is a river bed or an old one because of the cracks and the built up edges. And also Badlands, I don't know if you noticed this, there's a perfectly good motorway or a road right next to right next to where we're riding so maybe you know next year i'm not sure if you've ever tried to ride in sand but let me tell you it's quite tricky oh so close I was dreaming of this swimming pool for a... since we started basically yesterday as you might have noticed by the fact I'm in a pool in a hotel plans have had to change we've decided in this little town at about 440 kilometers get a good night's sleep get a good meal on us we are <laughs> in this town of Tabanas yeah and tonight we're staying in a hotel that's why we're looking a bit more fresh for the shower so get a good night's sleep and then yeah Crack on tomorrow. Awesome. I like this idea. That means we can have tapas. Wow. It's rain, rain over there, mate. Yeah, not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> if it's really warm, it could be good. Uh, yeah. Up. I guess now it's not pitch black. Don't know if you can see down there, guys, but. 
is absolutely pissing it down. Is that where we're going? Pretty sure, yeah. So very good morning, day three. As you guys know, we stayed in a hotel last night, which was amazing. We had an early alarm, half three, on the bikes for about four. Feeling a hell of a lot better after some actual decent, real sleep. And yeah, back on the bikes. The sun's just come up a couple of hours ago. Feeling good. We had an absolutely massive climb in the dark, which we were very pleased that we peaked before the sun came up and then we had a little sandwich that we bought last night at the top and now we're on the section from the little town of Najar to the coast at about 480 kilometers so really not far now until we hit the coast how do we feel after some decent sleep much better yeah <laughs> yeah human again feeling like a new person oh that's what we want when we do finally hit the coast, Liam's been telling me about the sand section, which I absolutely can't wait for. As if we didn't already ride through sand enough yesterday. We're riding along the beach. For how long? Uh, oh, well, we're walking along the beach. Okay, yeah. <laughs> So it's completely feasible for us to possibly catch them. And incredibly, Sebastian Brewer, I believe his name is, has just won the solos competition. He's just finished this morning, which is crazy. 530k in. You can see the sea, look at that. Oh. So I guess this is the uh, the beach section, Liam, eh? Based on the sand and the sea. Yeah, walk. <laughs> We've got a photographer running after you, mate. <laughs> so 553 kilometers to be exact. And the sun's come out, it's pretty hot. We are about, we're about 20k south of Almeria, which is in this direction, in that direction over there, hoping this sand section doesn't last for too long because it is yeah, sapping. <laughs> Who's messaged you, mate? The guy who I know from Instagram. Yeah. Who found me on the last uh, time I did this event. Okay. He's been doing a bit of dot watching and he's going to come out and meet us en route. So that was so cool. We saw another dot watcher back there actually. Yeah, we did, yeah. He was loving it, wasn't he? All I want to do is go to that pizzeria over there and have a cerveza, to be honest. Another quick stop at a petrol station. This time we've gone for some salt and vinegar crisps, chocolate milk, and found an American classic, Twinkies. So good. We've just been climbing for about two hours, my most relentless ascent, just out the town of Almira at the bottom. It was very, very bumpy and almost too much on a gravel bike. My hands and my back are absolutely ruined. I had a little lie down at the top. Now we've cracked on. We're really not far now from this little town called Felix. We're gonna grab some food and then decide what our game plan is for the remaining 180 kilometers. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. 
<laughs> that's my leg. That's your leg. Fan club. Yeah. What's this about? <laughs> that's 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 your knee, isn't it? Wow. That's a lot of goats. It's been a couple of hours since uh, we met Liam's fans by the side of the road. We've since gone through a town called Felix, which uh, despite having lots of restaurants open on Google, they were lying, nothing was open. We got there about six, so apparently it's too early to eat. So we've cracked on in the hope of making the next town for a bite to eat. And then from there, we will discuss what our evening will consist of. You feeling like cracking on, mate? Feeling right, yeah. I feel like uh, yesterday and the day before was like a <laughs> super intense training camp. A warm up. Yeah, like it's the super compact training camp. Now I'm fine. <laughs> So we made it to this little town, we've just stuffed our faces at the restaurant. Uh, I think this place is called Insta Institution. We've got 120k to go. So I think we're gonna crack on, drive through the night to see if we can possibly make it. Got a long way to go, 3,000 meters of climbing. We just wanna get this thing over and done with now. We've hit that point. Legs, legs feeling quite good. Knee, a little bit sore. We got this, no. right? Yep. 120k, everyone can do that. Easy peasy. <laughs> Better turn my light on. Yeah. That's the last street lamp. Now we're Diablo lit. So I'm not sure what you can see up here, but we are halfway up the penultimate climb, I believe. We're at um, 69 kilometers to go. We've just stopped on this random little corner to have a bocadillo. Uh, our mate Martin has flown past us. He's absolutely flying. Progress is good. Feet are quite sore. Not gonna lie. What are you saying? I think there's quite a few climbs. It's just it's big, just, one, big just... one, big one, big <laughs> one. It's all the same fucking one. Yes, love it. It's a good morning from the side of this big hill, 40k to go. We were feeling a little bit worse for wear and Liam's exposure light ran out. So we thought, we thought we'd crack out the emergency blanket in the bus shelter and grab an hour's kit, which we did back on the bike. Yeah, yeah. When we stopped last night, it was three hundred k in. So yeah, we left the, we left the hotel yesterday. Three hundred k. Yeah. Uh, six in the morning. Exactly. Stop, it's a long day. Stop for an hour. That's what we got. Where you go there, mate. Breakfast. <laughs> Get a bit of a wash in there. I could put it out. Yeah. Oh, oh. How do you even get down this? Because I don't know if you can see Liam over there. But this is the situation with like 15k to go. I hardly walk down it. It's so steep. Oh my goodness. What's that, 5k? Not 5k to go yet. Oh my goodness. Literally now the last few meters are uphill. 
and we've got, thank goodness, about 5k into town for the finish. Absolutely cream cracker. Yeah, can't even speak. Then we're gonna ride back to Granada, I think. Yeah, easy. Another 100k. Oh, 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 made it, bro. Absolutely smashed it. I'm looking to buy some shorts. Don't want to wear these. Yeah. Left. Everything hurts. Oh.